on today's episode. This is the remnants of an old model that I want to fly again. I haven't flown it for ooh, at least 15 years, probably nearer 20. And this can be seen by the fact that it's still sporting this old multiplex Pico 35 megahertz receiver. Since that time, I have replaced all of my radio control gear and I'm now using a, a Tyrannus. So I need to find a new receiver. My Tyrannus came with this receiver, which would obviously just plug straight in. However, it's a little bit larger than I would like, and also it has a telemetry on it, which I want to use in, a, in another model. The alternative, obviously, is a little S-Bus receiver. Now, I've bought a couple of these XM, and they, they, they work really, really well. But obviously, being S-Bus, I can't plug my servos into it. Is there a solution to connecting S-Bus to these servos. As is my want, I took a look on my favourite Chinese Emporium and lo and behold this appears to be the perfect solution. It's a little S-Bus to PWM 4 channel decoder and as I only need throttle and this model is running Elevons, so just the two, two servos, um, that's, that seems ideal. What we need to do is to test it out on, on the bench and see if it does what it says on the tin. I've connected the S-Bus to PWM converter to the receiver. The cable is supplied with a device uh, along with some heat shrink that you can put over there should you desire. I'm going to be powering this from a, an ESC with a, a BEC a battery eliminator circuit. just wanted to check before I plugged anything in that the power is passing between uh, these pins and the pins to power the receiver. Referring to our documentation, we can see that ground is on the lower connector here. So that will hopefully pass through to ground, which is indicated on the board here. So that is good. Obviously with the plus five. We are good to go. When we connect our BEC up to channel 1, in this case for the throttle, whilst we're talking about channels, so we can see our ground and plus 5 indicated there, and the channel numbers. We have channels 1 through 4, and then in brackets 5 through 8. And if we bridge the little connector in the middle there, we could, in fact, join two of these devices via a Y cable to give us 8 channels. So that's pretty neat as well. If you're conscious about uh, saving weight, these receivers come with these headers soldered on, but you could in fact um, solder that directly onto there and then uh, eliminate the, the weight or, or potential problems with uh, using the cables. So that's another thing that uh, you could do. We're now in a position to test everything. Wired the, the beck onto here, and we've just got a test servo there for the moment. We plug in our ESC to the battery and we can now see playing with the transmitter there that the servo is working. Yes, uh, we have power Igor. Now I can get around to putting this into the model and uh, hopefully if the wind drops around here, go flying. <laughs> 